far, we're able to graph reciprocal of a linear function, reciprocal of a quadratic function, and a linear of a linear uh, rational function. But uh, something we haven't yet talked about is a special uh, feature that may exist uh, uh, in the graph of a rational function. And that occurs when there's a special relationship between the factors of the numerator and the factors of the denominator of the rational function. I don't want to give away too much, but the title of this um, PowerPoint is called Disappearing Asymptotes. So, you know, let's take a look at this rational function we have here. Uh, y equals x squared minus 1 all over x minus 2. Um, this one actually does not have a horizontal asymptote. I know that because the degree of the numerator is 2 and the degree of the denominator is 1. In fact, this one has an oblique asymptote. Okay, um, but you know what it does have? It has a vertical asymptote of x equals 2. So I'm going to show you this graph uh, in the next slide. Perfect, right here. So this graph is a graph of f of x equals x squared minus 1 all over x minus 2. All right, so beautiful graph. But what we're going to do is we're going to take that equation and make a small modification. Okay, the denominator is now no longer x minus 2, it's x minus 1. Okay, and when we make that small modification to the denominator, guess what happens? There's a big difference to the graph of the rational function. Like it looks totally different. I think the first question you ask yourself when you see this graph is, where's that vertical asymptote? Where did the vertical asymptote go? Because I don't see a vertical asymptote anymore. What I see is a hole in the graph. Now, this is an open circle, which is something you probably first saw in grade 11 uh, when you're talking with domain and range and there's open circle. So uh, x equals 1, or yeah, x equals 1 is not part of the domain of this, of this function here. Okay, so hmm, how come, where did the vertical asymptote go? So that is the big question. Okay, this is the special feature that I was talking about. Uh, and we need to know when this occurs. When are we going to have a hole in the graph? <laughs> that would be nice to know. Okay, so let's take a look. All right, so this on the left side, that's uh, that graph is x squared minus 1 all over x minus 2. Now, the hole in the graph occurs when I change the denominator to x minus 1. Now, if you look at the algebra, you know what? It actually makes sense that I have a hole because the numerator is a difference of squares. So x squared minus 1 is x minus 1 times x plus 1. And hey, what do you know? There's a common factor between the numerator and denominator, a common factor of x minus 1. So we can simplify that, actually. And what you're left with is x plus 1. Now, of course, not just x plus 1. There's still a restriction that remains. So it's y equals x plus 1 with a restriction where x cannot equal to 1, which means this graph makes perfect sense. This whole makes perfect sense. x plus 1 is what you learn in grade 9, slope of 1, y-intercept of 1. And with that restriction of x uh, not being able to be equal to 1, that's why there's an open circle here. There's a hole in the graph. So this is, in essence, a combination of what you did in grade 9 and grade 11 math, right? So it's a line with an open circle, a hole in the graph. In summary, uh, holes in graphs occur when there's a common factor between the numerator and denominator. Uh, and the factor in the denominator no longer exists after simplifying. So this second bullet might be a little confusing because you might be thinking whenever there's a common factor, there's going to be a hole. But that's not always the case, actually. I can create a scenario where there is a common factor and there's actually no hole in the graph. So I'll show you those examples later on. But uh, what I'm trying to show you in this PowerPoint is basically summarize right here. OK, I have a rational function, which can be simplified because there is a common factor. We never uh, saw these examples uh, previously. Every time we saw a numerator and denominator, there was no common factor. But if there is a common factor, uh, be wary because the graph can have a hole.